What up, YouTube? Your boy Onto the Boss is back with another month video. Episode number 13 is right here in front of you. Also, tomorrow's Saturday, and I'm debuting season two of the Boss Talks. For those that didn't see season one, go to the description, check out all the episodes. And I think you guys will really enjoy them. Basically, I do questions and challenges that you guys send me. And I am excited to share the kickoff of Season 2 tomorrow. So I did decide to go ahead and stick with Brian Arakpo. And we decided to sell Khalil Mack. So at the left outside linebacker position, I asked you guys who you want to see. Most of the comments were Von Miller. And we're going to go ahead and spend 165 k on this card. Not gonna lie, it's pretty expensive, but at the same time, you're getting one of the best linebackers in the game. So right now, we are currently standing at a 7-2 record. We're gonna go ahead and start the first game online going up against the Pittsburgh Steelers. What a game that was last night. It's crazy because I'm going up against Big Ben. My quarterback is Mike Vick, and that is obviously the depth chart of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So we should see... An exciting game here today. Look at Big Ben, man. An off-balance pass right on the money. So far, he's looking good here in this drive, but on third and two, Eddie Lacy met a wall. His kicker looks like Josh Scobie, too. I mean, that was ridiculous last night, and what's more ridiculous is right here. Michael Vick just lays on the ground for seven seconds, and then he gets rid of this ridiculous pass. But Calvin Johnson does not hang on to the ball. Man, if that was a completion, it would have been one of the most ridiculous plays of the year. Moving forward, a bad snap. Michael Vick controls it. Third and 19, a dot to Odell. First and goal. Hand off to Chris Johnson right up the middle. And that is an easy touchdown. Big Ben. Out on the field once again for a second drive. Look at this pass this time. To end the drive off, Big Ben on second and six ties this game up. We jump to the second half now. Chris Johnson gets the handoff, and I want to establish the run right here, right now. So the next play, Chris Johnson right up the middle. That's a first. We haven't really targeted Amari Cooper. So right here on the comeback route, we go to Cooper. Cooper turns on the Jets. We're going to put the spotlight on him. Amari Cooper, his first touchdown on our team. That is what I like to see. I really wanted to get Amari Cooper involved. I mean, we picked him up in the last video, and I do not think he got a single catch. Here's Big Ben, though, with a minute remaining in the third quarter. This is a crucial drive for him. And let me tell you this, man. This guy has continued his unbelievable throwing accuracy. Another touchdown for Big Ben just like that. The game is now tied up. Two minutes remaining. Let's see what Michael Vick is about to do here. Scrambles out on second and nine. Oh, he's going to keep this one on the ground. Michael Vick, we got greedy. And good thing he did not fumble the ball. Hand off to Chris Johnson. I thought that was a face mask right there, but a nice tackle. We go back to him again. Chris Johnson, he's just short. So I decided to put faith and trust in my defense and take the field goal. And now it is up to them. With 26 seconds remaining, Big Ben throws yet another dot. But the time is against him. This is potentially the last play of the game. You would think he's going to the end zone, but he gets hit on the play. And Derek Johnson with a sliding interception. Just like that, the game is over. Michael Vick had a game. Big Ben, you hate to see him come up short. He also had a spectacular game. 17 to 14, we were able to win the game. Now, that means we had a first round bye, so we're gonna go ahead and play our playoff game. It is in the divisional, and check out my opponent's team. Derek Brooks, John Elway, and we meet Terrell Davis here in the playoffs. You hate to go up against players like this because this was a player that we got rid of. So you know him returning here in Atlanta playing against us, he has vengeance on his mind. He wants to come out and defeat me for selling him. So I'm kind of afraid, man. He already went up by a touchdown. Odell Beckham right there. This guy has a pretty good team. 
I'm gonna go to my main target, Shannon Sharp. He has been Mr. Security Blanket throughout the seasons, both in the first season and the second season. To end things off, Christian Okoye right here punches this one in. And that was the first half, seven to seven. It's a low scoring game. And we start the second half now once again. John Elway goes to work. He also has Russell Wilson at quarterback. So once he was bringing in Russell Wilson, he was just scrambling with him. And he threw me off big time. You guys know I was already horrible at defense. So now that he's using two different quarterbacks, I was all over the place. And I could not stop his offense. So here, a must scoring drive. Good thing we have the protection because Odell Beckham frees himself up and gets a big reception. A toss play to Chris Johnson. No one's really on the outside. Chris Johnson jukes his way in and goes to the 28-yard line. So we go back to him right here. On a toss play, Chris Johnson turns up the field. And he muscles his way in all the way to the 7-yard line. Again, a few plays later, Chris Johnson ties this game up. The defensive struggles continue. And I'm just sitting back and thinking, I hope I get the ball back. So we need a stop here on third and four, and we do deflect the ball down. That should have been a pick, but that was a defensive line, so I don't expect much. So here we go. He decided to go for it on fourth and four, and Russell Wilson scrambles in for first, and you guys can see from the time, I couldn't get the ball back. And I'm telling you, man, they need to either increase the time or increase the time of mud i just feel like there isn't enough time to do anything and also on these kick returns they should be like lateral formations i mean no one is even behind me so i can lateral the ball and yeah i had no chance at the end we ended up losing 17 to 14 a great performance by my opponent i mean i could not stop him on defense so i take all the blame i got you guys man the video will not end we're gonna go ahead and start yet another game this time playing here in new york against odell beckham and andrew luck my oh my did you see that catch? I ended up tying the game, and he got the ball back here, punts the ball to me. So we take over with about three minutes remaining. Michael Vick, he's going to scramble out, and you guys see him wide open, Shannon Sharp. Second and nine, once again, we're going to toss this one up to Shannon, and that's how much of a beast Shannon Sharp is. Andrew Luck once again on third and 11. After his first passing touchdown, he has continued to struggle here in the second quarter. So we take over now on third and 10. Michael Vick going to Amari Cooper, who just threw that defender off of him like a little kid. And just like that, we are now at the six yard line. We hand the ball off to Chris Johnson, and he high steps his way in for a touchdown. We ended up winning this game 24 to 14. So our season is off to a good start. We come back to the main menu. And now they are doing a BCA promotion. So you guys see you have a 12 BCA pack bundle and a bundle topper is a BCA player alongside two BCA badges. There's a lot going on obviously whenever they do new promotions, there's new sets, new players, gold players, elite players. There's a lot of stuff going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two of those bundles for you guys and hopefully we can get a lot of stuff here to add on to our team. Or maybe we could do a new set. So out of this first pack, we get a Derek Carr, Team of the Week. He has a good matchup this week against Chicago Bears, if you do fantasy. And we're going to compare that to Michael Vig. You guys see they have the identical throwing power and throwing accuracy media. Sam Barrington is a BCA player that we get out of that pack as well. He's a gold edition. Moving on now. Brian Harline, he's also a BCA edition. Finish things off with an Antrell roll. Still no BCA elite. That's my goal. Ooh, now we get a KJ Wright. That's a football outsider, though. It doesn't belong in this new promotion they're doing. Moving forward, I see the red flash, and that is the badges that they give you. Now, those badges, you can either sell them. I think on the action block right now, they're going for like 5 or 6K. That's for the PlayStation 4 market, at least. Or you could put them in sets. Here we get another one. We get a Julius Peppers and... Are you kidding me? I'm gonna get a duplicate? That's definitely disappointing. We get two KJ Wrights. Here we get the basic Brian Hardline. 
and Trey Turner to end things off. So we're already down to the final eight packs remaining. I've skipped a lot because we haven't gotten a lot. And look at this, Tim Tebow. Could this be the pack of the day? Donald Penn as well. I feel good about this pack right here. I mean, we start off with Tim Tebow, another Brian Hartline, and a Cam Newton Gatorade edition. Not sure how much this goes for. Let's move on to the next one. Seven packs remaining now. We start off with Gabe Jackson. Jonathan Joseph, okay. That's a pretty good gold card. And a Vance McDonald. So far, a lot of gold BCAs. And here, D'Angelo Williams, but not a single elite BCA card. We're down to the final five. Let's not forget, we also have our toppers. Starting off with a head coach, Rex Ryan. Oakland Raiders uniform and a Zach Martin. If you really think about this pool, we do not have a right guard right now. Obviously, we do have one, but he is a gold right guard. So we will take that and we will go ahead and place him in our starting lineup. I like what this looks like right now. And obviously, you guys know the only players out of these pools that I keep are the elite ones. The rest, I'm going to go ahead and sell. And in the future, bring in the players that you guys want to see. So here we go. Our final BCA pack of the day. Let's finish off strong. Devon Steele. Okay. So obviously, you guys know his daughter was battling cancer. So this is a proper way to end off the pack opening and jump into the bundle topper. So here we go. The BCA topper number one. We get Cody Sensabaugh cornerback for the Titans and two badges so obviously you get one player and two badges we should be able to get an elite right here we go we start things off with a badge two badges here we go but it is a gold player once again so we did not get any elite BCA pulls today but a lot of value was pulled so you guys see Right tackle is a position that I want to work on next, so make sure you comment below. Let me know what player you want to see. Also, I do want to work on one of these. I'm thinking about maybe getting rid of Calvin and bringing in Larry Fitz. You guys know how we do with Larry Fitz, but LaShawn McCoy is not on, on an auction block right now, so even if he does go up on an auction block, I think LaShawn McCoy could be very expensive, so I'm not sure how realistic it will be to do these sets right now. Also, Traymond Williams, Reggie Nelson, both of those guys are not up on an auction block on a PlayStation, so I'm not sure how I would do the Eric Berry set. I do want to do one of those though. You guys see also you could pull a Vince Wolfork right now. There's only 200 of these up on a PlayStation 4 and obviously Xbox One as well. Right now they're going for like 300k. So yeah, make sure you let me know what right tackle and maybe I might do one of those sets. I don't know. We'll bring in a couple new players in the next episode. It's your ball onto the boss. So I just want to thank all of you for all the support, man. It really truly does mean a lot to me. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the series. I will see you guys in the next one. I am out.